And good evening. I want to welcome you to our Good Friday worship service, a very special event because it gives us the opportunity to remember what an incredible, gracious, and wonderful God we have, that Jesus would assume our human flesh and blood and live a life and offer his life on a cross for our sins so that we would have forgiveness. He gives to us his righteousness and takes away our sins. You can't get anything so much more wonderful than that. Uh, and tonight we get to relive the scriptures about the passion of our Lord uh, as printed in the bulletin. Uh, the scripture readings are divided between myself and the congregation. There are some parts for men, some parts for women, uh, and you can put your heart into it because these are very powerful uh, sentences and statements uh, pertaining to our Lord's crucifixion. Also in the service, um, there won't be any loud noises, not in this evening service, but we do focus on Christ. And he is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. With that in mind, we can begin with the opening hymn. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Let us pray. Almighty God, graciously behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed, to be given into the hands of sinners, and to suffer death on the cross, who now lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. The next day, the large crowd that had come for, to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written. Now the crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to bear witness. The reason why the crowd went to meet him was that they heard he had done this sign. So the Pharisees said to one another,
beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Through Him, all things were made. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or of a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. No one has ever seen God, but God, the one and only who is at the Father's side, has made him known. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Then one of the twelve, whose name was Judas, went to the chief priests and said, And they paid him thirty pieces of silver, and from that moment he sought an opportunity to betray him. When it was evening, Jesus reclined at table with the twelve, and as they were eating, he said, Truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me. And they were very sorrowful and began to say to him one after another, He answered, The one who has dipped his hand in the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Then Judas, the one who would betray him said, Surely. Jesus answered, You have said so.
And then Jesus said to them, You will all fall away because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. Peter answered him, Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this very night before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Peter said to him, And all the disciples said the same. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee with him. Then he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And he said to Peter, So could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Again, for the second time, he went away and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words again. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Sleep and take your rest later on. See, the hour is at hand. Then those who had arrested Jesus led him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders had gathered. And Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest. Now the chief priests and the whole council were seeking false testimony against Jesus, that they might put him to death. Finally, two came forward and declared, And the high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? I charge you by the living God, tell us if you are the Christ the Son of God. Jesus said to him, 
Then the high priest tore his robes and said, He has uttered blasphemy. What further witnesses do we need? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your judgment? They answered, And they spit at his face and struck him. And some slapped him, saying, Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard, and a servant girl came up to him and said, But he denied it before them all, saying, Then he went out to the entrance, where another servant girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, And again he denied it with an oath. And after a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you too are one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to invoke a curse on himself and to swear. Immediately a rooster crowed, and Peter remembered the saying of Jesus. Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times.
Meanwhile, Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, You have said so. But when he was accused by the chief priests and elders, he gave no answer. Then Pilate said to him, But he gave him no answer, not even to a single charge, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now at the feast, the governor was accustomed to release for the crowd any one prisoner whom they wanted. So when they had gathered, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had delivered him up. Now the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus executed. The governor again said to them, which of the two do you want me to release for you? And they said, Christ. Pilate said to them, Then what shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? They all said, Christ. And he said, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Christ. 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 So when Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was beginning, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, Then he released for them Barabbas, and having scourged Jesus, delivered him to be crucified. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the praetorium, and they gathered the whole company of soldiers around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him, and twisting together a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and put a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, And they spit on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. 
I came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull. There they offered Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. And over his head, they put the charge against him which read, Two robbers were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, You the So also the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him, saying, He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now, if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. In the same way, this robbers who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. Now, from the sixth hour, there is darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, When some of those standing there heard this, they said, Immediately one of them ran and took a sponge. He filled it with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and gave up his spirit. Please rise. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Amen. 